Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning Web Method. Today we are going to see the sequence step in web methods. So sequence step forms a collection of child step that execute sequentially. This is useful when you want to group a set of steps. And sequence is commonly used to support error handling. Error handling scenarios like try, catch and finally. So we'll try to implement the same scenario here using sequence. So let's begin. Go to your designer and let's create a service. To handle an error scenario, first we'll create the structure of try catch. Try catch. Now here, this is the structure for handling the error. So here, if we observe that, main so in main class sorry in main sequence we have to set exit on as success why success because it means either try or catch must finish successfully then exit from the main sequence and now in try we have to mark exit on as failure why failure it means if one step fails then further step will not be executed and code will jump to catch block now in catch we have to set exit on as done why done because it means each step in the catch block must be executed regardless of result of each step so now we'll see the practical example let's create an input let's say string a so here what we'll do we'll add a number by zero so insert a map step and add a transformer divide int add second number as zero Let's insert one string for keeping a result in catch step first insert a get last error service then we'll add one debug log so from here we'll show error let's say exception bug now let's test our scenario now here we'll see that message is arithmetic exception divide by zero so what happened here it goes here and then it fails and then control goes into the catch block so this way we use sequence for error handling so i hope you get the point so if you have any comment or queries so please do let me know in a comment section and if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.